everyone, it's Mona and I have another craft for you. And this goes along with the whole witch theme that I've been working on. And we're going to make a broom. And you can use any, you know, any kind of a broom for your witch costume. But I thought we'd make one and let's get started. I went out to the yard and I got a big old stick and a lot of little sticks. And what else we're going to need is some hot glue and some twine and some clippers to cut some of the sticks down. So this is going to be kind of messy. If you want to do it outside, that probably would be wiser. But I'm going to do it in here. Now, my brother-in-law made one of these for his daughter a long time ago. And I don't know if I'm doing this right. So if he sees this and I'm not doing it right, he can certainly come next year and show me how to do it better. And this is obviously more of a decorative broom. I'm not planning any transatlantic flights with it or anything. I'm just going to be local. So this should work out fine. So what I'm going to do is kind of separate a little bit. I'm going to take oops, my big sticks and kind of put them down off to the side. I'll keep some of them over here. And my hot glue is hot and raring to go. So you're going to need to decide which you want to be your end that you're going to put stuff on and which isn't. So this is my end that I'm going to keep clean. And this is the other end. Now the other thing you're going to need to do is decide how long you want your, your broomsticks to be or the bristles to be. And you can trim them up later. To fit better, that would be okay. And then you're just going to start, you know, kind of filling it in with sticks and hot gluing it into place. So keep moving around, filling in here and there. With your sticks. And I'm going to keep doing that until I get my first row around it and then I will come back. Okay, I have finished the first layer and this is what it's looking like so far. And what I'm going to do, just to give it a little bit of additional strength, because even though I'm just flying it locally, I still want it to last a while. I have some twine. And I'm going to take the twine and the first thing I'm going to do is tie it in a knot nice and tight around the twigs. So hopefully this will help keep it all in place. And then I'm going to turn it around here a little bit. Just a couple times because this is the first layer. And then I'm going to give it a snip. And then I'm going to tie it onto here again. and tight. And then I'm going to finish that off with a little bit of hot glue. And then you can trim these ends off or not. Either or. And then I'm going to do another layer of twigs. Okay, so I have all of these sticks on there that I want to get on there. Now I'm going to take my twine to do my final twist around. And when you get it all twisted on, then you want to take the two ends, tie it as tight as you can, knot it, whatever you need to do, snip off the ends, and again I like to throw a little extra hot glue underneath there just to keep it together so the knot doesn't untie. And the nice thing about this with the hot glue, if you get all those little spider webs, it doesn't make any difference. Looks like they're supposed to be there. So here is our witch broom. Hope you like it. I hope you give it a try. Remember to stay tuned so I can put all of this together um, in a nice witch costume for you with a bunch of homemade, handmade items that go along with it. And we will see you next time. Happy crafting. Happy Halloween.